The Code Book by Simon Singh is a comprehensive overview of the history, science, and art of cryptography. Singh takes readers on a journey through the centuries, from ancient Egypt and Greece to modern times, exploring the evolution of codes and ciphers and the people who developed them. Part 1 of the book covers the early history of codes and ciphers, starting with ancient civilizations like Egypt and Greece. Singh explores the role of codes and ciphers in ancient warfare, commerce, and diplomacy, as well as the various techniques used to create and break them. Part 2 of the book covers the development of modern cryptography, including the development of the Enigma machine during World War II, the advent of public key cryptography, and the challenges posed by quantum computing. Part 3 of the book examines the role of cryptography in modern society, from securing online transactions to protecting national security secrets. Singh explores the debate over privacy and government surveillance, as well as the challenges posed by merging technologies like artificial intelligence and the Internet of Things. Throughout the book, Singh provides numerous examples of codes and ciphers, explaining how they work and how they have been used throughout history. He also introduces readers to the people behind the codes, from the ancient scribes and mathematicians to modern-day codebreakers and cryptographers. Overall, the codebook is a fascinating exploration of the world of cryptography, blending history, science, and art to create an engaging and informative read. Part 1, The Evolution of Codes and Ciphers Chapter 1, The Cipher of Mary, Queen of Scots Simon Singh starts with the story of Mary, Queen of Scots, who used a cipher to communicate with her supporters during her imprisonment in England. The cipher was eventually cracked by a group of English cryptanalysts, leading to Mary's conviction and execution. Chapter 2, The Cital Cipher the Cital cipher, used by the ancient Greeks and Spartans, is introduced as one of the earliest known examples of a transposition cipher. Singh explains how the Cital worked and how it was used for military communications. Chapter 3, The Caesar Cipher The Caesar Cipher, a simple substitution cipher that shifts each letter of the alphabet by a fixed number of positions, is introduced. Singh explains how the Caesar cipher works and how it can be broken using frequency analysis. Chapter 4, The Vigonier Cipher The Vigonier Cipher, a polyalphabetic substitution cipher that uses a series of interwoven Caesar ciphers, is introduced. Singh explains how the Vigonier cipher works and how it can be broken using the Kazowski examination. Chapter 5, The One-Time Pad The One-Time Pad a theoretically unbreakable cipher that uses a truly random key, is introduced. Singh explains how the one-time pad works and how it was used during World War II. Chapter 6, The Enigma Machine The Enigma Machine, used by the Germans during World War II to encrypt their military communications, is introduced. Singh explains how the Enigma Machine worked and how it was eventually broken by a team of allied cryptanalysts. Part 2, The Birth of Public Key Cryptography Chapter 7, The Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange The Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange, a groundbreaking public key cryptography algorithm that allows two parties to securely exchange a secret key over an insecure channel, is introduced. Singh explains how the Diffie-Hellman Key Exchange works and how it paved the way for modern public key cryptography. Chapter 8, RSA RSA, the first practical public key cryptography system, is introduced. Singh explains how RSA works and how it revolutionized the field of cryptography. Chapter 9, The Future of Cryptography Singh discusses the future of cryptography, including quantum cryptography and the potential threat of quantum computers to current encryption methods. He also explores the impact of cryptography on privacy and national security in the digital age. Chapter 10 The Unbreakable Code Singh introduces the concept of a one-time pad, 
which is considered unbreakable if used correctly. He discusses the history of the one-time pad and its use in espionage, including during the Cold War. Singh also explores the mathematical principles behind the one-time pad and why it is so difficult to crack. Chapter 11, Epilogue Singh concludes the book by reflecting on the evolution of cryptography and the role it has played in shaping history. He also emphasizes the importance of cryptography in modern society and the need for continued innovation in the field. Overall, the codebook is an engaging and informative exploration of the history, science, and future of cryptography. Singh does an excellent job of making complex concepts accessible to the layperson while also providing enough depth for those with a more technical background. Anyone interested in cryptography, history, or the intersection of technology and society will find this book to be a fascinating and enlightening read. Ready to dive deeper into the fascinating world of cryptography? Get your hands on a copy of the codebook by Simon Singh, available now at the link in the description. Learn about the history, science, and future of encryption and discover how cryptography has impacted everything from ancient warfare to modern digital privacy. Don't miss out on this essential read for anyone interested in technology, history, or security. Click the link to buy your copy today.